Are you thinking to make the decision to move from the Go XLR to the Roadcast Duo for your live streaming, podcast, voiceover and more? Well, in this video, I'm going to share the cons and the pros about switching from the Go XLR to the Roadcaster Duo. And at the end of this video, I will share my honest opinion if you should do it as well, the change it or not. So before I start my experience, how that happens, I just wanted to thank so much for every single one subscriber to this channel for the love and support. And those right here on the bottom are the last, uh, the latest subscriber to us. And actually we did hit 1000 subscribers to this channel. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. If you're new on this channel, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in our channel and if you wanted to like this video it would be super fantastic because i also help with the channel and also more people can see this video if they help as well so back in a year and a half ago i just started using the go xlr one of the best fantastic mixer is for streamers is that machine they are work flawless i have never had any any problems with the go xlr it just works when it needs to work. It was to come, turn everything on, it works. I will have a little bit of a hiccup in the beginning for some reason on here and there, but nothing related to the hardware itself. Moving from the Go XLR to the Rode family, my primary advantage was the ongoing official support and updates for the Rode device. It's widely known that the TC Helicon company discontinued the Go XLR leaving it without any official support and disappointing situation. However, an unofficial support team that has developed an alternative app mirroring the official GoXLR app, but with improvements and regular updates, they are ensuring continued support for the GoXLR. While this is positive news, I still consider official support for a non-discontinued product a definite advantage. Therefore, having official support remains a pro in my view. When I first laid eyes on the design of the Rodecaster Duo, I was immediately impressed by its modern aesthetic feature and sleek LCD touchscreen, a compact build and the convenient option to mount a vest arm underneath. Why I appreciate the design of the Go XLR, personally, I found the Rodecaster Duo design more to my liking. Therefore, it is definitely a pro for me. So right up ahead, this is definitely a pro for me, but it may be a con for others. The reason being is that it lacks an optical input, which it could be crucial for some users. Personally, I utilize it for my dual PC setup by challenging audio from my gaming PC to the Go XLR through a specific cable. However, the Growcaster Duo offers a significantly more with two XLR mic inputs that can double as inputs for instruments, two USB-C inputs for connecting both your streaming and gaming PC or USB mics, a memory card slot for saving profiles and stereo recording, and a dual headphone output. It provides extensive capability. Additionally, the Rocast Duo allows Bluetooth connectivity with your smartphone and features a built-in transmitter for connecting all your Rode wireless mic. So for me, this definitely is a pro. So my primary challenge at this stage was getting everything to function seamlessly. While the mixer itself is excellent, I found the routing to be quite intricate. And I believe it could be more straightforward like the simplicity of the Go XLR. Although the Rodecaster Duo software is commendable, transitioning from the Go XLR, I encounter a bit of stress in configuring everything. Therefore, for me, this is aspect is a con. The Rodecaster Duo featured three virtual channels, the primary stereo, duo chat, and secondary duo, used when reconnecting to the main PC, otherwise allocating to the second PC. This has been a bit challenge for me because unlike the Go XLR, which offers main mix, music, mic, and chat channels, which is significantly advantage for streamers in my opinion. While the Rockcaster Duo team has a software app called Unify to expand the mixer's virtual channels, I see it is a downside. Introduces an additional software layer unlike the streamlined functionality of the Go XLR. So for me, this definitely is a con. 
Now using the wireless headphone with the Rocket Duo was flawless. It functioned seamlessly without any complications and I find out work slightly better than the Go XLR. I had a experience in Go XLR minimal delay so where the Rocket Duo exhibit none. So this is in my view is definitely a pro. Now this was a challenge decision. On the Go XLR having voice effects separate from samplers provide clarity in a more visual and intuitive mixer layout. Now, on the Roadcaster Duo, everything is combined, although the LCD screen does indicate the different elements and allow for color encoding. Another feature that I miss from the Go XLR is the ability to press any sampler pad, record income audio, and use it in the samplers. A significant aspect for me. So in this category, overall, for some, this could be either a con or pro, but I find the Go XLR to be a better uh, for my for my workflow, so making this a calm. Now the microphone sound, particular with the Shure SM7B that I use it, is excellent on the Rodecaster Duo. The amplifiers, EQ, and additional features such as noise gate, compressor, deessers, and more are truly impressive. I believe this is a standout aspect for the mixer, especially considering its specific design for podcasters. So in my opinion, this is a definitely a pro. Now, finally, a significant concern for me revolves around using the PS5, not just for streaming, but also for gaming. I'm sure many of you are in the same boat, wondering if the Rockcaster do work seamless with. Well, let me share my experience. It was a bit of challenge. Connecting, it was straightforward. You can use USB-C 2 from the Duo to the PS5 and select the whole uh, headphone road as the audio output in the PS5, challenging the audio to your broadcaster Duo through the USB-C 2 channel. However, I encountered an annoying buzzing noise every few moments for 30 to 60 seconds. Seeking assistance, I contacted Rode support and their device was to ensure that I was in the latest firmware, which I was, and to perform a factory reset. So despite following these steps, the issue persisted. At this point, I have to find an alternative solution since all the other inputs on the Duo were mono unless using both XLR inputs as a stereo sacrificing an XLR input for my mic. I opted to use the HDMI from the capture card connected to the PS5 to route the audio to OBS and then send it to the Rodecaster Duo. If you're interested in have a quick video demonstrating this workaround is that's up here, but I wasn't pleased with having the resort to it and feel like it was an unconventional fix. I believe Rode should be able to address this issue, but for me it was a significant drawback, so it's a big con. So resuming the pros and the cons going from the XLR to the Rodecast Duo are The pros are official support from Rode, building quality and design, connectivity, Steel Series Wireless Nova Pro with Duo, mic sound quality. The cons are audio routing system, virtual channels, smart pads versus sampler, PS5 audio to Rodecaster Duo. So in conclusion, my decision is to stick with the Go XLR and not transition to the Rodecaster Duo just yet. While the Rodecaster Duo is a great mixer, I believe it may not be fully ready for streamers like myself and perhaps for you if your usage is similar to mine. It seems to be designed for podcaster in mind, so I despite the Go XLR being discontinued and the official team no longer actively working on it, the unofficial app committed is doing an excellent job on the recent firmware update, which the link is on the description below. So this assures me that the Go XLR will continue to receive future firmware updates. If you are in the market for a mixer, I would not recommend getting the Go XLR now do its discontinued status. So instead, I suggest waiting for a better solution solution that may emerge. However, if your Rodecaster do meets you all your needs, then by all means go forward. So I hope this video was provide valuable insights for you. Thank you for watching until the end and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.